All right, we're gonna get started today looking at our first model. We wanna make sure that when we're drawing our models in Fusion that we are working correctly in the Cartesian coordinate system. There's a number of different planes that we can select to draw in and different directions in which we can extrude our parts. We wanna make sure that is all set up to be successful in the CNC machining environment that comes after our modeling step. So looking at this object right here, we need to draw a piece of stock that represents the smallest piece of stock this part could come from. So we basically need only three dimensions. We need to have the length, the width, and the height. So we have 5.125, 2.75, and a height of 1.75. If we look at the uh, directions of this, we really wanna see X along this 5.125 line and uh, Y along this 2.75 line. That's how it's represented on our machine. And then our height is represented in Z. So how is that gonna look in Fusion? Let's switch over to Fusion here for a second. We'll do a new sketch. So we should start our drawing on the XY plane as if it was uh, the table that we're drawing on. So I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape here, starting locked on the origin. And my first number was 5.125. That was along the X axis, which is red in this case. Um, you can see that when you look up in the corner at the view cube, <coughs> view cube and um, you can see the green is the Y direction I'm moving in now, which is 2.75. Whoops, sorry, I didn't switch. 1.25, tab, 2.75. All right, click, it locks in place, finish sketch, and now that is done. I'm going to go ahead and extrude that. I can tell which way I'm going to go by pulling it. I'm going to go positive X. This is a positive number right here. In this case, we have a uh, number of 1.75 was the overall height. So that represents the box that our part could fit in. But if we look at our view cube here, this is not the top of the part. This is the top over here, but it's mislabeled. So what we can do is we hit front and the view cube moves. We right click on front, set current view as top. And then I hit the bar above and the corner. And oh, one more bar below in the corner, sorry. And now I've got my shape set up here. So I have Z going vertical, which is correct. And X along the longer front piece right here. Okay. Now, we want the home button to work as well. So if we right click on this corner, we've got set current view as home, fit to view. So now I can move this all around, hit home, and it goes right back to where we were. So the front view of an object, in this case is right here. It represents uh, the total length, in this case, and the height. If I hit front, I have length in X and height in Z. If we turn it, We've got our Y number along <laughs> the width and our Z number on the height. And that shows us everything we need. Now, remember I said the first, the next step to do is to make sure we save this so we can save this. I'm going to do a, uh, I think this is um, slotted uh, block. What do they call this one? Let's check real quick here if we can. Slotted angle block. All right, come back here, slotted angle block. I'm gonna refer to this as the stock, okay? So we can save. So now we have that actual um, piece ready to go. All right, that is done. That is our first piece. We're gonna go ahead and make a copy of this. Once we have a copy, we can start working on the actual, uh, um, the actual model itself and adding in those features that we need.